so now the next topic what we have to discuss so keep subbing a race a race a race so a big topic we have to discuss so almost two or three sessions so we have to spend so better to take agenda first introduction take take agenda introduction next uh, array declaration array declaration array creation array declaration array creation next uh, array initialization array initialization array declaration creation initialization initialize initialization next array declaration creation and initialization array declaration creation and initialization in a single line array declaration creation and initialization in a single line in a single line line <coughs> in a single line next uh, length versus length sir in java length variable is there length method is there so what is the difference between length and length next uh, second one i mean seventh anonymous arrays anonymous arrays anonymous arrays next uh, array element assignments array element assignments array element assignments next uh, array variable assignments array element assignments array variable assignments that's all <coughs> so these are the nine subtopics we have to discuss as a part of arrays so now keep submitting introduction 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 okay so now the first point so what is the need or what is the purpose of array what is the advantage what is the disadvantage or what is the limitation legend this one suppose if i can take int x is equal to 10 just i'm taking int x is equal to 10 can you tell what is the purpose of this int x is equal to 10 to represent one into value 10 just we are going for x suppose i want to represent two int values i want to represent two int values then two variables are required correct or not x for 10 y for 20 i want to represent three into values then we can go for what three variables right are you getting x y z like three suppose i want to represent ten thousand values then going for ten thousand variables is the worst kind of programming practice because if i can take ten thousand lines of the code which variable represents which value and what these ten thousand lines of the code so readability of the code is going to be down that's why if you want to represent huge number of values by using single variable happily we can go for what erase concept right so luckily 10000 values if you want to represent 10000 variables are not required just only one variable by default enough what is that way intere x is equal to new intere of 10000 right intere x is equal to new intere of 10000 now so do you know x uh, how many how many values are there one two three dot 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 ten thousand right okay how many here ten thousand values you can able to represent sir first value second value third value dot 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 right so how you can differentiate these values sir only one variable ten thousand values then how you can differentiate these values by using index are getting 0 x of 0 either 10 x of 1 either 20 x of 2 is the 30 like we can sir can you tell 
what is the advantage of arrays this is what advantage what is the advantage of arrays we can represent huge number of values by using single variable is the advantage of arrays concept okay this is but if you are getting something compulsory you have to lose something or for every advantage there is some disadvantage also there sir what are various cases where arrays are not helpful or what are various limitations of these arrays right best example sir i create a array with how much size 10000 size but at run time 10000 one element also came your array not in a position huh, okay this is to provide space for that because arrays are fixed in size sir once we create an array with some size there is no chance of increasing or decreasing the size based on our requirement right best example for you even i covered so best example sir suppose assume i thought that this scjp movie is a big hit movie like we arranged 10000 chairs in the classroom a big hall two or three projectors i kept then we announced the batch so 10000 chairs we arranged a big hall we took two or three projectors are there and big hall big screens like we arranged the batch but at run time only two members came are you getting so for those two members almost two months uh, i have to uh, i have to tell the lesson by keeping two two students in the front bench the remaining 9998 memory locations waste okay like next time what i did is are last time also only two members came this time maybe five members like uh, i took a small room five chairs a small monitor small projector uh, monitor and a small board i arranged we announced the batch but at run time 10000 members came are getting my program not in a position to provide support that's why if you want to use arrays concept compulsory we should know the size in advance if we don't know the size in advance if we don't know the size in advance then arrays concept we can't use are getting so the biggest limitation of arrays is nothing but what arrays are arrays are fixed in size the biggest limitation of arrays arrays are fixed fixed in size once we create an array with some size there is no chance of increasing or decreasing the size based on our requirement right that is the biggest problem with the arrays concept right another problem is also there arrays can hold only homogeneous data type elements are you getting arrays can hold only homogeneous similar type of data suppose i took this int array i can add only in the type of elements by mistake if i'm trying to add any other type compile time error we are going to get like boolean value i want to add or otherwise string value i want to add compile time error we are going to get arrays can hold only homogeneous data type elements you are getting there are some more problems are there to overcome these problems next level we should go for which concept collections concept right are you getting individual variable approach arrays approach next level is nothing but what collections concept collections are not fixed in size collections can accept both homogeneous and heterogeneous elements like there are are you able to understand sir can you define what is an array ayyo ha ah, what is an array an array an array is an indexed collection of have you observed observe these words na indexed collection of fixed a number of fixed a number of okay an array is an indexer collection of fixed a number of homogeneous data elements homogeneous data elements okay an array is an indexer collection of fixed a number of homogeneous data elements is nothing but the concept of what array right any explanation is required now okay at this point arrays an array an array an array is an indexer collection of an array is an indexer collection of is an indexer collection of fixed number of fixed number of homogeneous data elements an array is an indexer collection of fixed number of homogeneous data elements homogeneous data elements homogeneous data data elements data elements homogeneous data elements elements are you getting next up next up point the main advantage of arrays is the main advantage of arrays is the main advantage of arrays is we can represent we can we can represent we can represent we can represent 
huge number of values we can represent huge number of values which means multiple we can represent huge number of values by using single variable we can represent huge number of values by using single variable by using single single variable huge number of values by using single variable single variable so that single variable so that by using huge number of values by using single variable so that so that so that readability of the code will be improved so that readability of the code will be improved readability of the code will be improved will be will be improved readability of the code will be improved will be will be improved improved next para but but the main disadvantage of arrays is but the main disadvantage of arrays is but the main disadvantage of arrays is but the main disadvantage disadvantage of arrays is fixed in size fixed in size but the main disadvantage of arrays is fixed in size that is that is once we create an array once we create an array once we create an array an array there is no chance of increasing there is no chance of increasing there is no chance of increasing or decreasing the size there is no chance of increasing or decreasing the size based on our requirement there is no chance of increasing or decreasing the size based on our requirement based on our requirement requirement there is no chance of increasing or decreasing the size based on our requirement 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 hence hence to use arrays concept hence to use arrays concept to use arrays concept concept compulsory we should know compulsory we should know compulsory we should know the size in advance compulsory we should know the size in advance to use arrays concept compulsory we should know the size in advance the size in advance advance the size in advance comma comma which may not possible always comma which may not possible always which may not possible always always which may not possible always that's all are you getting the point so the basic introduction to array is a clear for you so what is an array what is the advantage of array what is the problems with the array is it clear right of course to overcome these problems next level collections anyway as of now we are not required to talk because at, we are at very basic level okay so what is an array are you able to understand now keep submitting array declaration array declaration <coughs> keep keep submitting array declaration declaration okay now take take very very special care about this part array declaration sir how to declare an array in that first let me talk about one dimensional array declaration keep submitting one second one dimensional array declaration one dimensional array declaration one dimensional array declaration one dimensional array declaration declaration okay now take take very very special care about about this point one dimensional array declaration here suppose i am taking how we can declare one dimensional array sir int array x can you tell is it valid or not ah uh, int array x valid sir some people may declare like this int array x valid or not or some people may declare like this int x valid or not okay so do you know all these things perfectly valid okay no problem at all one dimensional array you can declare dimension after the type or before the variable or after the variable happily we can declare one dimensional array is nothing but no problem at all so all these things are acceptable but among the which is which is recommended ah huh? anyway all are valid which is recommended first or second or third ah yeah. first one or second one or third one so make sure first is always best ah uh, first impression is the best impression right ah uh, correct ana uh, so if you if you if you are doing anywhere make make sure 
टेक स्पेशल केयर फस्ट इंप्रेषन शुड बी बेस्ट इंप्रेषन एस्पेषल अट युवर मैच एस्पेषल अट युवर मैच फस्ट 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 फीलिंग इट सेल फीजन अंड आफ्टर द इफ वी डिड एनी कई आफ थिंग इफ यूर डूइंग नो प्रॉब्लम एट आल फस्ट वन वी गाट सम इंप्रेषन इज नथिंग बट लाइक देन आबियली डू नो ई हॉप समेर Uh, I studied one in one personality development book. Uh, first, uh, in the what we call in the uh, uh, kings, uh, kingdoms, uh, there are wars uh, are there olden days. Uh, you know, so one king, one king suggested that. Okay, so one one uh, I mean minister in the under king, one minister suggested the king saying, so why don't you why don't you kill that king so that we can. Occupy that that kingdom also. Like uh, one one minister suggested the king. The immediate what this king did is nothing but you know um, that king killed that minister. So why wrong decision? Why wrong suggestions you are giving? He is of our friend. Like then automatically that king hear this news. Uh, some so some minister told the. Okay, to kill you and uh, to uh, occupy your kingdom. The Nimuri at what the king did is nothing but he killed. He killed that minister. Is nothing but that person having that much good opinion on you. Is nothing but automatically this person got. Now after few days, so they met at some place. Then this king, then automatically this king is the young youngster. What he did is, so why don't you why don't you marry my daughter like the other king offered. Then automatically, yeah, because he got very good impression, very good impression on this king. Because someone suggested free suggestion, immediately this king killed right. Then, oh, hey, how much value I have? Is another matter. Like, what that person did immediately? Okay, why don't you marry my daughter? Like, so got married. After got married, one fine day, is another matter. These people went there to kill that king. So king got died. That kingdom is another matter occupied by this king. Are you getting right? The moral, the moral in one personality development book I studied. First, uh, even the enemy also has to get best impression on us. Once uh, he got good opinion, then automatically he can legend any word. Is nothing but he can legend any word, any word. Then obviously the cinema is going to be next. One one story. Do you know? Even actually I didn't remember this was happened in the Greek or somewhere. Ah. Uh, Both kings met at some common place to fight. Then automatically one king compromised. Are we are friends? Why we have to fight like this? Is nothing but no. We don't want to do that. Like uh, this king uh, gave a big gift, gave a big gift uh, to the other king. Then automatically happily, so these people went there with that gift. So the, the gift is nothing but a small, uh, a big toy, like uh, a big toy. What uh, night time? What happened is. In that gift, these soldiers are there. At the mid of the night, they so came out from that. Automatically, they what that king, all the soldiers, is not even they kept. They finished. Then automatically, these people occupied that. Are you are you getting the point right? Okay. Even cinema also came on this story. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Troy. This is really happened story only. Is it not? Okay. Like. So first impression is that thing, but uh, take special care. Even even for the enemies also. First uh, in some personality development books, is that thing. But once he believed, then automatically he is going to dance based on our okay words. Like uh, there are some words. Okay, there are some books are there about these stories anyway. So not whether good programming practice or bad. I am not in a position to justify, but make sure first impression is always best. So in the re X, <coughs> can you tell? So is it is it valid or invalid? Yeah. So all are valid. Which one is the recommended? First one is the recommended. Why first one is the recommended? Don't tell first impression is the best impression. Okay. What the reason is? Here say, sir, observe. Good. Here observe. What is the X? X is name of the variable. This is the array type. Sir, can you please read this line? X is one dimensional integer. Sir, name of the variable clearly separated from the type, but here one dimensional array x is of integer type. Sir, type is mixed with the name. Are you getting? That's why. So even here also same problem. This one 
recommended because ana recommended because name name is clearly name is clearly separated name is clearly separated from type are you getting name is clearly separated from type okay this is what you how to yeah is nothing but remember are you getting the point right at this point well yeah uh, have you to call these things you take first inter a x <coughs> inter get the point well here Yeah, recommended, recommended because recommended because name is clearly separated from type. Name is clearly separated from type. Name name is clearly separated from type. From type. <coughs> name is clearly separated from type. Type. Are you getting the points right? Okay. name is clearly separated from type type okay so make make sure so this is one dimensional array declaration but here related to one dimensional array declaration there are few conclusions are there what is the first conclusion is legend legend this one sir in the array x analogy sir i want to represent int values A group of int values better to go for arrays. Sir, I want to represent six int values. Are you getting? I want to represent six int values. Better to go for array with the size of six. Now I want to declare an array with the size of six. Are you getting? Int array of six followed by x. Can you tell is it valid or not? Huh? Array? Can you please represent an array for how many int values? Six int values like. For that requirement, I'm declaring an array in this style. Acceptable or not? Okay. Make sure compiler is ready to give left and right. Because at the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. Actually, size is required at the time of creation. Creation. At the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. By mistake, if you are trying to specify the size, immediately compiler method we are going to get. Okay. This is so now. Int array is an atomic x. Int array x. Can you tell anyway this one is invalid? This one is valid or not? Perfectly valid because at the time of declaration we can't specify the size. Here we specify the size. That's why invalid. Here we are not specifying the size. That's why this is yeah valid right. I hope is clear at this point. At the time of at the time of at the time of declaration at the time of declaration. At the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. We can't specify the size. At the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. Size. Otherwise, at the time of declaration, we can't specify the size. Otherwise, otherwise, we will get compile time error. Otherwise, we will get compile time error. Otherwise, we will get compile time error. 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 Okay, take this one. It's a very important conclusion anyway. Keep star for that point. Interior of six x. It is uh, invalid, but interior x itself is valid. I hope is a clear right. So this is what uh, how to declare one dimensional array. Are you getting? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. But in Java it is invalid. Next up. Uh, next uh, two dimensional array declaration two dimensional array declaration two dimensional array declaration declaration two dimensional array declaration so do you know how we can declare two dimensional array what is the what is the possibility array is observed sir i am taking two dimensional array like this r Is it a valid or not? Or is it a valid or not? Or it is one thing, it is one. It is one thing, it is another. It is one. Okay, like this. Sir, can you tell? 
among these which are valid which are invalid which are valid which are invalid first 100% pakka correct okay first three are valid okay next the three are also valid okay whether we are using or not using all these things are valid okay valid two dimensional arrays only first three next three also all are valid don't keep any doubt take all take take clearly into two dimensional array x into two dimensional array x into two dimensional array x like can i complete it right make sure okay clear for you people next one next there is one declaration wise there is another important conclusion let me talk knowledge and legend this one very important in the array a comma b i am taking in the array a comma b can you tell a is what is the s dimension what is the s s dimension one one a and b are one dimensional array s dimension is one what is the b s dimension one are getting s dimension is the one b s dimension is also one only valid okay now sir i am taking int array int array okay so here a comma b can you tell it's also valid what is the s dimension ha huh? a one dimension one dimension s dimension is two what is the b s dimension one one okay next up int one dimensional array okay here i'm taking a and up this no new thing ah uh, can you tell what is the s dimension two what is the b s dimension ah uh, two s dimension is the two b s dimension is the two next up int array int array a comma b can you tell what is the s dimension ha ah, what is the s s dimension 2 what is the b s dimension ha ah, what is the b s dimension make sure b s dimension is are ha ah, make sure b s dimension is b s dimension is 2 okay because this space ignored by compiler this total thing is nothing but considered as the type are you getting type a and the b both are two dimensional arrays are you getting a and the b both are two dimensional arrays a dimension is what two b dimension is also two only that's why itself is nothing but valid next int array int array okay here i'm taking a comma b like this what is the s dimension ha ah. oi what is the s dimension two dimension what is the b s dimension 3 1 2 3 is nothing but like three dimension right okay now int array okay a and b what is the s dimension a a 2 what is the b s dimension ha huh? what is the b s dimension make sure if you are taking like this compiler will give left and right compile time error we are going to get so that's what second conclusion you should aware okay what is the conclusion is sir here if if you want to declare if you want to declare dimension before the variable 
if you want to declare dimension before the variable this rule is applicable only for two dimensional array oh sorry only for first 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 variable if you want to declare dimension before the variable this facility is available only for the first variable in a declaration because i will ignore this space and i will consider but uh, for this if you want to consider ignore this total meaningless that's why if you want to specify dimension before the variable this facility is applicable only for the first variable only for the first variable sir first variable this is if you want to apply for the remaining variable compound time error to jargon take it okay this is make sure you should aware right okay so take take a bit style uh bit bit style which of the following are which of the following are valid which of the following are valid valid which of the following are valid valid which of the following are valid valid okay take all these things for the last one i will give the notes anyway if you are specifying the dimension after the variable enter a comma b yes dimension is the one this dimension is the one int two dimensional array yes dimension is the two b dimension is the one next one like they call so two dimensional array and a conclusion here completed i hope okay <coughs> this is what you should aware next uh, here let me talk about this one okay add, add, add the theory if we want to specify if we want to specify dimension before the variable if we want to specify dimension before the variable <coughs> if we want to specify dimension before the variable before the variable if we want to specify dimension before the variable before before the variable if you want to specify dimension before the variable that facility is applicable that facility is applicable that facility is applicable that facility is applicable only for that facility is applicable only only for that facility is applicable only only for only for first variable in a declaration only for first variable in a declaration only for first variable in a declaration in a declaration first variable in a declaration in a declaration next up if we are trying to apply if we are trying to apply if we are trying to apply trying to apply if we are trying to apply for next variable onwards if we are trying to apply for remaining variables if we are trying to apply for remaining variables remaining variables we will get compile time error if we are trying to apply for remaining variables we will get compile time error we will get compile time error error <coughs> we will get compile time error 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 okay so just uh, int here like a okay b like this one i'm taking int here 
A, B, C, like this I am taking. Sir, can you, can you tell, is it valid or not? Okay, valid. Next, uh, is it valid or invalid? This one is invalid. This one is invalid, right? Because if you want, you can apply, if you want to declare before the variable dimension, this facility is applicable only for the first variable. Second variable onwards, we can't do that. Okay, add. Take, take, care. Add this example. So, but after the variable, you can declare. No problem at all. But this rule is applicable only before the variable. Completed, right? <coughs> Next one, three dimensional array declaration. 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 Declaration. Okay. Sir, how to declare three dimensional array? Here see, now what are various possibilities are there? This is one way. Valid or not? Only three dimension. I'm not going for fourth dimension because you can able to generalize. Next. Uh, is it valid or not? Valid. Next. Uh, int uh, 1, 2, 3 like. Next. Uh, int 1 dimension. Okay. So like this. Valid. Int uh, 1 dimension here. And then like this. Valid. Int 1 dimension here. 1 dimension here. 1 dimension here. Valid. Int uh, Two dimension here, into two dimension here, here one dimension, valid. Into two dimension here, and then here one dimension, valid. Into two dimension here, one dimension here. Into one dimension here, two dimensions here, valid. Are you getting? So all these are things perfectly valid, no problem. So three dimensional array, we can declare in these many styles. Take this one. <coughs> into three dimensional array A take take clearly dimensional array like this I'm taking completed I hope Okay, that's all. Next. So, that's all. These are various loopholes about array declaration. Only two conclusions. At the time of array declaration, we can't specify the size. If you want to represent a dimension before the variable, this rule is applicable only for first variable. Right. Next. Array creation. Array creation. Array creation. Array creation. Sir, here observe. How we can create an array? What are various options are there? Simple. Can you, can you spell out how we can create an array? Int array A is equal to new new int array of 3 I am taking. Sir, here I have one doubt. Usually, how we can create object by using new operator? But we can create arrays also by using new operator, right? Can I use that term? Array is also an object. Because if array is, an, is not object, then how you can create by using new operator? New operator can be used to create objects. Sir, we are creating arrays by using new. New operator means 
Every year in Java is an object only. Remember this one, sir. Every year in Java is an object only. That's why we can create arrays by using what new operator, right? Now, sir, here size three and the reference variable for that. Okay, you should feel array itself is nothing but what an object. Okay, this is make sure. Okay, at this point, first every array in Java. Every array in Java, in Java, is an object only. Every array in Java is an object only. Is an object, object only. Hence, hence, we can create arrays. Hence, we can create arrays. Hence, we can create arrays by using. Hence, we can create arrays by using. By using. Hence, we can create arrays by using new operator hence we can create arrays by using new new operator by using new operator <coughs> by using new new operator operator okay take this one example int array a is equal to int array a is equal to new int array of 3 int array a is equal to new int array of 3 so take this clearly. And that a is equal to new integer of three. I hope is a clear right? Okay. Now a is a reference variable for that. Make sure. And that a is equal to new integer of three like this. Next. Okay. You you have to take this diagram also so that you should feel it is an object. Now I have one big doubt. Usually we can create objects for classes. Sir, we are creating array object. So for every array type, corresponding class should be there. If the class is not there, how you can create an object? Are you getting? For every array type, corresponding classes are available. But these classes are part of Java language and are not applicable to the programmer level. Are you getting? But corresponding class is there at language level. But these classes are not available to the programmer level. So where is the proof? How I can aware? Simple. If you want to know, I have object reference is there. If you want to know corresponding class name, simple. System dot out dot print a dot get class dot get name. A dot get class dot get him. Happily, the corresponding class name by default we are going to get. Do you know? A is what a array? Int array. Int array. That's why. So square bracket. One dimensional array of what type? Int type. Are you getting square bracket? I. E the corresponding class name. Sir, how the class name starts with a square bracket? Pass. These classes I don't want to highlight to the programmer level. Part of internal Java language, why you have to worry about these naming conventions? Are you getting? So, for every array type, corresponding classes are there. But these, uh, these classes are part of Java language and are not available to the programmer level. Are you getting? Sir, where is the proof for that? If you want, I will, I will just execute this one. One minute, have a look. Here I am taking just test dot java like i'm taking here say say this one here i'm taking int array a, a is equal to rx is equal to new int array of 3 i'm taking int array x is equal to new int array of 3 okay x dot get class x dot get class dot get name x dot get class dot get name like uh, let me take okay so, get class dot get name okay java c test dot java perfectly the code is the valid no problem at all java test do you know what the answer we are getting anna square bracket i i hope you people can aware sir for every array type corresponding class is there if it is a two dimensional array sir if it is the two dimensional array three followed by two then what the answer we are going to get? It is the two dimension, right? So yeah, if it is the two dimension, square bracket, square bracket, i is nothing but two times two dimension followed by i inter type like. Now if you want just observe what the answer square bracket square bracket i is nothing but like like I'm getting. Are you getting the point right? Okay, this is. So are you believe 
for every array time corresponding class is there correct or not yes okay because we are creating an object means objects we can create only for classes but where the corresponding classes is nothing but part of java language not available to the programmer clear at these points yeah for every array type for every array type for every array type corresponding classes are available for every array type corresponding classes are available for every array type corresponding classes are available corresponding classes are available and these classes are and these classes are and these classes are are part of java language these classes are part of java language part of part of java language java language part of java language and not available to the programmer level part of java language and not available to the programmer level part of java language and not available to the programmer level not available to the programmer level level not available to the programmer level programmer level okay this is now i hope is clear so now here let me let me explain okay just better to take this line example here see system dot out dot print a dot get a class dot get name a dot get class dot get name is nothing but like square bracket i a dot get class dot get name get class dot get name square bracket i i completed i hope okay now just observe let me take into a small table form here array type array type okay corresponding class name array type corresponding class name array type and corresponding class name name okay here i am taking int array int array okay this is interim can you tell what the corresponding class name on a square bracket i interim square bracket i now two dimensional interim i'm taking and a two dimensional interim i'm taking so here two dimensional interim square bracket square bracket i two dimensional interim square bracket square bracket i next now uh, if i can take okay so here three dimension means square bracket square bracket only if i can take double array then square bracket d if i can take short array square bracket s yes. if i can take byte array square bracket b byte byte array square bracket b if i can take boolean array square bracket ayyo ha huh? byte array means square bracket b boolean array means square bracket ha huh? square bracket okay square bracket z square bracket z let me show here see here just i'm taking byte array x is equal to new byte array of 3 i'm taking s o p of x dot get class dot get name and as you see this one byte array byte array i am taking yes the code compiles fine what the answer ana square bracket b is nothing but like next uh, byte array x is equal to new sorry here instead of byte uh, let me take a boolean array if it is a boolean array x is equal to new boolean array of 3 here see see this one don't take observe for the answer we are going to get square bracket z are you getting that okay so can i expect for every array type corresponding classes are available these classes applicable at part of java language and are not available to the programmer level okay this is take this diagram what is the use of boolean array ha huh? a group of boolean values sometimes are required to store ha ah, true false one internally every element is either true or false
एक टेक लिया था ही हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एन एरे बाय यूजिंग न्यू ऑपरेटर नेक्स्ट वाटर सो फॉर एवरी एरे टाइप करस्पॉन्डिंग क्लासेस आर अवेलेबल बट दीज क्लासेस आर पार्ट ऑफ जावा लैंग्वेज नॉट अवेलेबल टू द प्रोग्रामर लेवल completed right okay next one so related to array creation there are several several loopholes are there let me talk about first loophole okay at first one let me related to array arrays there are several loopholes in that first one first one okay here just observe observe these are these are things right suppose i'm i'm creating an array like this int array x is equal to new int array like this sir can you tell is it valid or not ha ah, is it valid or invalid if i can take like this compiler will give left and right but the reason is at the time of declaration we can't specify the size but at the time of creation compulsory we should specify the size but you are not specifying the size so at the time of creation jvm reserve the memory based on your size if you are not going to specify the size how the jvm will reserve the memory that's why so compiler if we are identified this problem immediately compile time error we are going to get so conclusion one or first point at the time of array creation compulsory we should specify the size otherwise we will get what the compile time error right suppose if i can take like this int array x is equal to new int array of 6 valid or not valid okay at the first point at the time of array creation at the time of array creation at the time of array creation compulsory we should specify the size at the time of array creation compulsory we should specify the size compulsory we should specify the size compulsory we should we should specify the size compulsory we should specify the size otherwise otherwise we will get compile time error otherwise we will get compile time error otherwise we will get compile time error error okay take these examples these examples right int array x is equal to new int array first one is invalid int array x is equal to new int array of 6 int array x is equal to new new int array of 6 new int array of 6 6 okay next step sir here just observe can you tell is it valid or invalid int array x is equal to new int array of 0 int array x is equal to new int array of 0 valid or invalid this one perfectly valid sir it is legal to have an array with a zero size no problem at all an array with a zero size perfectly acceptable sir best example for you yeah we have main method is there what is the argument to the main method string array arcs argument to the main method is string array arcs now what these things are na command line arguments but how many times you are passing command line arguments if i execute 100 times maybe one time or two times okay if you are not passing any command line argument what is the size of this array uh, arcs dot length do you know if i am not passing command line argument then what the answer we are going to get zero if i am passing command line argument what the answer we are getting the corresponding number okay just observe this one here yeah, see here i am taking sop of here sop of just ax dot length sop of ax dot length like this i am taking right now see this one the code compiles fine if i am not passing any command line argument zero is the answer if i am passing some command line argument a b c d 
is a nothing but lie. What the answer by default we are going to get for? Uh, I hope you people can aware. So make sure it is legal to have an array with the size zero. Clear, right? Okay, this is it's legal to have an array with the size zero in Java. Add second point. It is a legal. It is a legal to have an array. It is legal to have an array with the size zero in Java. It is legal to have an array, to have an array with the size zero, with the size zero in Java. In Java. Okay, take that example. Take, take clearly. Inter a x is equal to new inter a of zero. Inter a x is equal to new inter a of zero zero. Completed right? Okay, like next one. Here, can you tell is it valid or invalid? Sir, I am taking inter a x is equal to new inter a of size minus 3. Hmm. Size minus 3. Can you, can you tell? Is it valid or invalid? Inter a x is equal to new inter a of minus 3. Valid or invalid? Invalid. Because what is the reason? Ah. Invalid. Yeah. What compulsory method we are going to get? Hmm. Negative. What what compile time method we will get? It's not index first. It's not index size, right? Hmm. Invalid. Invalid here. Okay, just up John. Take a bit special care. Sir, make sure. There is no compile time error. Perfectly it is valid. Okay. Because compiler is always going to check whether we are adding, whether we are specifying some size or not. Is it int value or not? Compiler job is, is it int value or not? Or not. Only one thing. Is it int value or not? Whether it is the positive or negative, that is not my compiler job. Are you getting? Sir, valid. Compiler point of view, valid. Okay. At runtime, JVM reserve the memory based on this size. Are you getting? Whenever JVM saw this negative size, immediately it will get shock and raise some runtime exception. So, what that runtime exception? No compile time error. What that runtime exception? Sir, can you tell what mistake we are doing? Negative array size we are specifying. That's why eh? what that exception? Negative array size exception. Ah, negative array size exception. Because we are doing what? Negative array size. That mistake, right? So what that exception? Negative? Ah, negative. Array size. Negative array size exception. Ah, negative array size exception. Correct or not? You, huh? So, if we are trying to specify array size with a negative int value, then we will get runtime exception saying negative array size exception. Here, have a look once. Yeah, int array x is equal to new int array of minus 6. Minus 6. Is nothing but lying. Now, observe compile time error by default. Sorry, no compile time error. Compile is fine. At runtime, do you know exception in the thread domain? Negative array size exception. Are you getting? Negative, negative array size exception. So we are going to get this exception, right? Okay, make sure at the point. Yeah. Next point. If we are trying to specify, if we are trying to specify array size with some negative int value, if we are trying to specify array size with some negative int value, Array size with some negative int value. Negative int value. Array size with negative int value. Then, then, then we will get 
then we will get runtime exception saying then we will get runtime exception saying then we will get runtime runtime exception saying negative array size exception then we will get runtime exception saying negative array size exception negative array size exception we will get runtime exception saying negative array size exception okay at this point well example take take that example clearly completed right okay that's all now next the thing next the conclusion a bit important here special care take take care and here i'm taking int array x is equal to new int array here can you tell here what what i have to take size can you tell which data types are allowed to specify the size sir int allowed or not allowed sir i want int array with a size of 10 value can you tell is it allowed or not int array x is equal to new int array of a valid or not because in the place of int i am providing char valid or not char to int promotion acceptable now what is the size of this array 97 because a what is the corresponding unicode is nothing but like sir make make sure int is expecting actually in the place of int which things are allowed have you remembered the chart in the last class somewhere i covered by to short short to int char to int long float double this this diagram we covered already right sir here my requirement is int that's why which data types are allowed to specify array size by short char int by mistake if you are providing any other compile error we are going to get are you getting sir here now let me take value sir byte b is equal to 20 byte b is equal to 20 int array x is equal to new int array of b int array x is equal to int array of b sir is it valid or invalid this one uh, valid or invalid this one hundred percent pakka valid no problem because byte byte in the place of into byte you can provide no problem next uh, sir here yeah, short s is equal to 30 int array x is equal to new int array of s valid or not valid short in the place of int you can provide short also sir i am i am taking here just observe i am taking int array x is equal to new int array of 10 l sir long type i'm providing actually array expected size is always int but in the place of int is it possible to provide long not possible immediately compile time error possible loss of precision found long required is nothing but what required is int like we are going to get are getting to specify array size the allowed data types in java are by short char int by mistake if you are providing any other compile time error we will get okay at to specify to specify array size to specify array size array size the allowed data types are to specify array size of the allowed data types are to specify array size allowed data types are are allowed data types are allowed data types are 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 okay take this example allowed data types are one minute byte short byte short char int better to take one by one one by one byte short char int char int if we are trying to specify 
if we are trying to specify if we are trying to specify any other size if you are trying to specify any other type if you are trying to specify any other type any other type type then 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 we will get then we will get then we will get we will get compile time error then we will get compile time error then we will get compile time error error okay like uh, take uh, this uh, this part completed i hope okay i hope is a clear for you people right next so next one here i have one one big doubt when we should go for arrays if you want to represent more multiple values by using single variable but max how many values you can represent compulsory because if you want to represent huge number at certain point compulsory there should be some end max these many number of elements only we can represent by using array ha huh? do you have any such type of limitation hey uh, yes. compulsory at the end there should be some limit make sure what is the maximum allowed array size data type int int by using int what max value you can represent 21 47 48 36 47 obviously the maximum allowed array size in java is 21 47 48 36 47 do you know if i can take like this intere x is equal to new intere 21 47 48 36 47 okay perfectly allowed intere x is equal to like this intere x is equal to intere x is equal to new intere ah uh, 21 47 48 36 48 21 do you know because exceed exceed the inter range sir i can't create an array for this requirement immediately compile time error we are going to get regarding syntactical mistake we are doing can you tell what compile time error ha huh? out of range what compile time error we are going to get invalid range ha huh? now in the last session somewhere i covered wherever we are representing integral number it is always should be int type and the value should be in the range of int but uh, if it exceeds int range if it exceeds int range then we will get integer number too large integer number too large do you know if it is ends with l then it is the long possible loss of precision like we are going to get so here the maximum allowed array size in java is 21 47 48 36 47 maximum value of inter data type right if we are more than that not possible array concept is not at all helpful there now observe this one sir int array x is equal to 21 47 48 36 47 
valid or not for a fakely valid sir let me execute let me compile valid no problem at all sir if i can take 48 48 valid or invalid invalid do you know integer number too large integer number too large like a compile time error we are getting i hope is a clear for all of you that you can say so now here i have one one another small clarification i want to provide sir here just observe first one is the valid or invalid valid so valid but maybe a chance of problem even in the first case also maybe a chance it doesn't mean compulsory you are going to get maybe a chance of problem in the first case also what is the problem is how many int values we will represent 21 47 48 36 47 int values each int value how many bytes four bytes then how much memory required to create this array 21 47 48 36 47 into 4 bytes of memory required this much memory may not available in my system are you getting this much memory may not available if for this much memory may not available then we may get oh, we are going to get out of memory error are you getting right out of memory error not uh, my problem mistake N not my program mistake the problem is because of memory problem it is you have to provide sufficient memory then i can run okay even in the first case also we may get runtime exception but it's not my program mistake the sufficient memory is not available in your system what i can do okay now observe let me cross check here 47 i'm taking 21 47 48 36 47 i'm taking now observe compiles fine no problem now let me run let me run exception in thread main java dot lang dot out of memory error requested array size exceeds virtual machine limit requested array size exceeds virtual machine limit is nothing but like compile time error, uh, uh, runtime exception by default we are getting any doubt or, or any explanation is required okay make make sure out of memory error like okay Add, take a note note the maximum the maximum allowed array size the maximum allowed array size in java the maximum allowed array size in java the maximum allowed array size in java in java is the maximum allowed array size in java is 21 47 48 36 47 21 47 48 36 47 47 which is the which is the which is the maximum maximum value of int data type which is the maximum value of int data type int int data type maximum value of int data type int data type okay at that point at 21 47 48 36 47 okay take both examples and first one valid but second one invalid integer number too large like compile time error we are going to get but of course if the sufficient memory may not available even in the first case we will get runtime exception so that is not my program mistake that is a lack of system resources i can't do anything in this case completed right integer number too large like a compile time error we are going to get okay clear for you people next uh, add one point even even in the first case even in the first case we may get runtime exception even in the first case we may get runtime exception even in the first case we may get runtime exception runtime exception if for sufficient heap memory not available if a sufficient heap memory not available if sufficient heap memory not available not not available sufficient heap memory not available not available not available that's all so these are various loopholes what you people should be aware related to one dimensional array creation sir can you spell out uh, what conclusions we cover uh, there are four or five conclusions first one at the time of array creation compulsory we should specify the size one thing 
Next, it is legal to have an array with a zero size. Next, if you want to specify array size with some negative int value, then we will get what? Uh, runtime exception saying negative array size exception, but there is no compile time error. Next, uh, to specify array size, uh, the allowed data types are byte, short, char, int. Uh, by mistake, if you are using any other compile time error, we are going to get the maximum allowed array size in Java is 21, 47, 48, 36, 47, which is the maximum value of inter data type, right? Clear for all of you, right? Okay, this is.